Are you thinking about making YouTube videos with your iPhone? We're going to talk about that today. What's going on everybody? My name is Rodney and on this channel I talk about videography, some photography, and gadgets such as smart stuff. So if you're interested in that, consider subscribing. And as always, drop this video a like rating, share it with your friends. Or don't, it's cool. Whatever. You do you. With just the phone alone, you can actually make some quality video. <laughs> I feel like Cousin Eddie. It's a quality item. Uh, anyway, you can make good video with just the phone alone, but there are some tools that you can add. Um, but first step, when you're filming with a video, or when you're filming video with a phone, film it like this. Don't film it like this. If you're doing Instagram, okay, you can do it like this. But anything else, remember, make it look like a TV screen. The second tip uh, is to use the rear camera over the front camera. Uh, the front camera has gotten actually pretty good, and so you can actually use it, and I've used it in some of my videos, but it's hard to stabilize that camera. It's a whole lot easier to stabilize this camera, plus you're going to get better range. So my advice would be, unless you have a gimbal or something, definitely use the rear-facing camera. All right, in case you're wondering, this is what it looks like on my phone. I'm filming with the rear-facing camera. T uh, the, uh, the phone is laid down like a TV screen. No microphone hooked up, no other kind of lens. This is just a camera handheld, so the footage might be a little bit shaky. But this gives you an idea of the kind of the quality you can get with just a phone, nothing added. Keep in mind that I am inside in a controlled environment, so you're going to get better audio with the onboard microphone by being inside controlled. If we go outside, you tap the wind, the different elements, so it could be a totally different story. So just make sure you're aware of that going forward. So maybe you're thinking, okay, that's great, but now I want to update or upgrade my <laughs> update. <laughs> I'm going to update my audio. You want to upgrade your audio, which is a great thing to do. You can kind of control the sound a little better. A couple of options you have. You have a very budget friendly. This is a power device uh, smartphone lavalier mic. Uh, I used to use this all the time. Still use it from time to time. Love this little thing. Just plug straight into the phone. You don't need anything to go on top of the phone so it can sit. It just clips right there on the shirt. I actually did a video reviewing this little microphone. It's a great option. If you want to go uh, more the shotgun uh, route, which is the more popular, something like the uh, the, the Rode Video Micro is a great little option. Um, you will need to, this is a special adapter right here that, that Rode makes. It goes from this to a smartphone because the, the regular uh, <laughs> cable only goes to a, like a DSLR type camera. So you'll need something that will actually adapt. And of course, it being my iPhone, you got to have this little dongle here so it'll actually uh, connect and talk to your phone. So just keep that in mind. And then finally, if you want to use your phone kind of in that, you know, that vlog style, uh, first off, you're going to need some kind of a clamp. Um, and even if you're not going to use vlog style, if you're going to use tripod, you're still going to want this clamp. Uh, there's several different kinds you can use, and I've used several different ones. I've used the kind that has a little pull tab on the top. I didn't like that at all because it wouldn't hold the phone very well. The phone kept popping out. Um, there's another spring type that looks very similar to what I have here. It's just a plastic couple of dollars. It's just spring loaded. Holds the phone very well. I highly recommend that little joker. Um, ultimately, I went with this this guy right here by Ulanzi. Uh, reason is it has this little shoe adapter right here, so I can just take a an external mic and just simply slide it in just like that, and it can hold that microphone for me. So that's why I went with with this one. Uh, ultimately over what I was using and then uh, something to kind of hold it I, I love this little Manfrotto Pixie in fact it's what I use more than anything this little setup right here uh, with my Rode Video Micro on the top and of course by by having your phone handheld that's gonna get that that lens further away from your face is going to give you kind of a wider field of view. If you want to go with even wider, um, I'm going to recommend there's a company called uh, Moment. This is their wide lens. They have a fisheye that I have as well. And that's just going to give you kind of a, 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 a nice wider uh, field of view. And of course, once you put it all together, that's what you're going to look like right there. Just a nice, simple uh, setup. It's clean. It's lightweight. It's, it's very portable. And there you have it, the finished product. I've got my Pixie holding my iPhone with the Rode Micro on top, with the wide angle lens sitting here shooting me, and I'm at arm's length. And so this is what you can expect to get from this awesome little rig. Let me know down in the comments below if this is something you're interested in doing. As always, you guys are awesome. My name is Rodney. I'll talk to you later.